Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a review of chapter 15 from the book Requisites of Ultrasound and it is the fetal central nervous system, face and neck. In this video, I will be talking about all the normal structures of the fetal head and the pathologies will be dealt with the subsequent video. So in this image over here, we have an embryo at 8 weeks 3 days and it shows a cystic structure in the posterior portion of the head during the embryological development of the rhombencephalon. This is a normal finding and it should not be reported. So now let's talk about the cavum septum pellucidum. Cavum septum pellucidum as you can see in this picture indicated by the arrow is an anechoic rectangular box like structure. It is anterior to the thalami, which is indicated by the letter T. In this image again we have the cavum septum pellucidum between the frontal horns of the lateral ventricles which is indicated by the short arrow. Now in this image we have a structure that resembles the cavum septum pellucidum. It is the column of the fornix. As you can see there is a linear echo which is indicated by the short arrow. Now this is the axial image of the fetal head after a slight adjustment of the scan plane as in this previous image. It demonstrates the cavum septum pellucidum, note the absence of the central linear echo. Now let's talk about the third ventricle. The axial image of the fetal head in this image demonstrates the normal third ventricle as a slit like structure between the thalami. It is indicated by the arrow and it's a bit difficult to visualize. When there is a pathology, then obviously its size increases and it's easier to visualize. Now this image demonstrates the fox cerebri. In this image, you can see the fox cerebri as a midline linear echogenic structure extending between the cerebral hemispheres indicated by the two arrows. So now let's talk about the lateral ventricles. In this image, you can see this is the axial image of head at the level of lateral ventricles at 12 weeks gestation showing bilateral choroid plexus filling the majority of the head indicated by the arrows. In this image again you can see the choroid plexus filling the lateral ventricle and this is the second trimester fetal head. This is another image of the choroid plexus indicated by the C that fills the entire width of the lateral ventricle abutting both the medial and the lateral ventricular walls. In this image you can see the technique of measuring the width of the lateral ventricle indicated by the red cursors. Over here the measurement is 5.8 mm which is normal. The upper limit of normal is 10 mm. So now let's talk about cerebellum. These arrows are pointed towards the cerebellum which is almost like a figure of 8. The cerebellum is composed of two rounded hemispheres laterally indicated by the short arrow and the vermis which is indicated by the long arrow in the midline. So now you can see over here the measurement of the cisterna magna. Cisterna magna is a fluid filled space in the posterior fossa which is filled with the cerebrospinal fluid. Over here you can see the measurement of the cisterna magna from the posterior margin of the cerebellar vermis to the inside of the occiput bone and it is indicated by the red cursors. In this axial image you can see the head depicts normal linear septa in the cisterna magna extending from the midline which is indicated by the long arrow from the junction between the vermis and the cerebellar hemisphere on each side indicated by the short arrow posteriorly to the occipital bone. Now in this image you can see the fourth ventricle indicated by the arrow in the anterior portion of the posterior fossa. It can be dilated in some pathologies. Now over here in this image you can see these echogenic strands are basically fetal hair that are extending into the amniotic fluid from the head. Now this image demonstrates the normal fetal hair in grayscale ultrasound. And this image is the 3D ultrasound image of the fetal ear. So this sums up my video. I really hope you like my video. Please subscribe to my channel and inshallah I'll come up with more such interesting content. Thank you.